Hey, Real Green Ninja here. Today we're talking about how to set up discounts and surcharges. So let's begin. Now, when I talk about discounts and surcharges, and discounts in particular, I'm not talking about like a prepaid discount. What I'm talking about is I'm talking about like a military discount, a senior citizen's discount, or a one shot, like a referral discount where you give it to them for one year. When you want to set up a regular discount or again a surcharge, what you can do is you go to data, company parameters, financial parameters, and then you're going to go to discounts and surcharges. Now you see I have a bunch of them already in the system, so you might have like one or two, or you might have you know 20 of them are already and stuff. But pretty much like with a lot of other things in the software, when you want to create a new one, all you have to do is hit new up here at the top. When you create a discount, you do have to give it some sort of code. You're allowed three characters, and it does have to be unique to any other code that is on your discount grid. So I might have something like, oh, I don't know, um, like a one, two, three, okay? Or again, I might do like 20% or, or you know, whatever, 20%. Now, as far as the description is concerned, again, that can be whatever you want. The key thing is the code does have to be unique. So I might, again, put in 20% discount, all right? If it's something where I wanted to add 20% to the price of the uh, service, so like maybe like a fuel surcharge or something, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check mark that surcharge, and that's going to add, in this case, it would be 20% as opposed to subtract 20%. But again, we're doing it as a discount. Because I want to do it as a percentage, I'm going to make sure percentage here is selected. Now, if it was something like a $20 off discount, then I would choose the dollar sign. So you see where it says $30 coupon here? That dollar sign says take $30 off the price of the service. Now, if I choose the fixed price option, what that's going to do is it says, I don't care about any other price, any calculation, anything else. This is what I'm going to charge that customer. So if you have some sort of special where it's like, hey, prepay for your program and have the first round for $9.95, again, it doesn't matter what the price of the first round is. And because they prepaid you for it, you might not be giving them any sort of you know, 5 or 10% off. All you're doing is saying, for that first round, we're only going to charge you $9.95. Now, if you um, want to do something like that, I actually heard a better strategy, make the second round $9.95, simply because that way at least you do the first round and they're not going to cancel right away and you at least got the full price for the first round. All right, that aside. But again, your fixed price says, I don't care what other prices it says in there, this is what we're charging that person. The amount is where we're going to tell it how much to do. So again, because this is a 20%, I'm going to put 20 in here, percentage. All right. If it's something that you want to mark as permanent, meaning it carries over from year to year, then you can check mark that permanent checkbox. Um, also, you you know, if you want it available, select available. That means it's available on the drop down. Uh, you can also specify what branch or branches this discount code is available for. So you might have multiple branches in the system. Maybe you have one branch that covers the west side of the city, another branch that covers the uh, east side of the city, and you're saying for the east side of the city, you know, we're going to create a different discount code. We can come in here and uncheck this all and check the select and then pick which branches this code would show up for. Now, if you are in a branch that's not selected, it won't even show up in the dropdown, so you won't even be able to select it. So again, I'm just going to mark it for all for now. Um, if you have CAW, you can have the discount available on the internet. If you have a promotion that this discount applies to, just for reference, you could put in the name of the promotion. So it might be like 2016 Spring Spectacular, um, again, whatever you want is for the promotion. Residential account, commercial account, as with a lot of things, other, uh, other financial things in our software, you can specify which general ledger account you want this transaction to hit. If you leave a blank, which most people do, it's going to hit its default account. Um, if you scroll over just a little bit more, you'll see you can also put in the French description and the Spanish description. Keeping in mind the software does not translate, but you can put that in there. And then, of course, based upon whether uh, the customer is set for a different language, the employee set for a different language, it would show whatever the translation is. Always, again, find someone you trust when you do something like that. So once we put the discount and everything in there, we set everything up, then we can hit new if we want to create another one or hit save to save those. Now, some people, what they'll do, and, and again, I never judge, <laughs> some people, they'll actually have different tiers of discounts for different situations. So for example, I ran into someone who actually had four different friends and family discount codes depending on how much they liked the person or how close they were as a family member. So again, you could do something like that. And again, you might, you might have them like discount one, discount two, or again, you might even have the same name. The important thing is making sure those codes are, separate, are different, are unique, sorry. All right, now once we have the code, we're going to close our discount screen, and then we can go ahead and pull up a customer's account. We bump over. Let's say we want to apply the discount to, let's actually find someone that can pull, there we go. Uh, let's say we want to apply the discount to this NTX, and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit edit. Now, if we add it to here, 
this discount will then apply to any service on this list. If we only want it on a particular service, then we're going to set the discount code here. Now you'll see I actually have two 20%, but you'll notice each one has a different code. So again, you may want to, you know, make a little bit more descriptive if you're doing something kind of like this. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to just use the new code that I created. Now, when I do that, as soon as I go to print the invoice, and I'm going to cheat a little bit here, and then do preview. Oops, my help actually choose invoice. <laughs> so uh, let's try this again. There we go. Uh, and it figures I picked an installment service. I'll give it one quick second here. Like I said, all these uh, are pretty much on the fly, so uh, you know I don't always set everything up 100%. Again, it's, it's no different than if you would call in. You might not have everything exactly where it needs to be. So we do a preview here. There we go. And you'll see, again, it's going to reflect that 20% discount. Now, it's, it's a really good idea to use discount codes simply because when you run reports, those amounts, like the prices and stuff like that, can um, you know determine how, what that report says. And that's why I always tell people, if you're running, you know, if you're giving like a complete total discount or whatever, create a 100% discount code because if you change the price to zero dollars then that customer's uh, job that you did isn't going to have any value when you pull up your report but if you set it to hundred dollars and then give them that discount the report will reflect the hundred dollars but it also usually has some sort of thing okay net after discounts or whatever as well as when you print out invoices your customers can actually see yeah you are giving them that discount you're just not telling them they're getting a discount when it's actually the regular price or whatever all right so like I was saying is is again a good idea to have the discounts on the jobs like I said you can put it on the service level which will apply just to that particular service so if it was like a lawn care program it would only be on the first round as opposed to all of them this up here though will apply to all the rounds in fact if you even try to put the same code on there twice, I'll even warn you saying, hey, it will result in a double discount because these discounts do stack. Um, if you decide, if you want to, you can even put the disc, uh, discount code under the default discount. The only one I really ever see added um, on this area is like the senior discount or a military discount, something where everything they get will have that discount. You're not going to put like a referral or something like that. Or maybe if you're the owner or you know, it's your family member, you might give it a total discount. But what's going to happen is, is when you put a default discount here, any job you add going forward will get the discount automatically thrown into that box for you. Um, again, you can always take it off if you need to or change it to something different. But be aware, though, it will not automatically change the ones that the customers already have. So you would have to go back in there and change it. And in fact, even if we go to do a uh, default discount, it'll even warn you that it does not change the discount on any of your program jobs that they already have. You would have to go back and update those. So uh, like I said, discount codes, good thing, especially um, letting your customers see that you're doing the discount for them, as well as it gives you a little bit more accurate reporting. Uh, so I hope that helps, and you have yourself a wonderful day.